In today's lecture, let's make an attempt to study about Circe genus fauna. Introduction Silk is a fibrous protein of animal origin. Number of organisms secretes silk, which is used by them for anchorage, entangling their prey, or forming a protective sheath with or without other materials. Nearly 400 to 500 species are known to produce silk, but only a very few are commercially exploited. Based on the organism involved in production of silk, silk is classified into insect silk and non-insect silk. Insect fauna producing silk Insect silk is commercially more important. Majority of the silk producing insects belong to the order Lepidoptera, superfamily Bombycoidea and families Bombycidae or Saturnidae. Nearly 74% of the commercial silk comes from the mulberry silkworm that is Bombyx mori and is known as mulberry silk. Commercial silk from all other sources is collectively called as non-mulberry silk which contribute about 26%. Mulberry silkworm. Mulberry silkworm, its scientific name is Bombyx mori. The applied number of chromosomes are 28. It is a domesticated species. Its ancestor, Bombyx mandurina, n is equal to 27, occurs in the wild only in few isolated regions of India, China and Japan. Rare and exotic wild silk is reeled from cocoons of Bombyx mandurina are collected by the native tribal people in the foothills of Himalayas. The ancestor of both these silkworms is Theophila religiosa, n is equal to 31, which feeds on leaves of breadfruit tree, that is Atrocarpus incius. Occasionally, it also found on the mulberry plant. Mulberry silkworm is reared in more than 30 countries of the world. Mulberry leaves is the sole source of food, that is, silkworm is a monophagous species for the silkworm, that is, Bombyx mori and it is completely domesticated insect and does not occur naturally in the wild. Mulberry silkworms can be categorized into three different but connected groups or types. The major groups of silkworms fall under the Inuvoltine and Bivoltine categories. The Inuvoltine breed is generally linked with the geographical area within the greater Europe. The hex of this type hibernate during winter due to the cold climate and cross fertilize only by spring, generating silk only once annually. The second type of breed is called bivoltine and it is normally found in Asian region such as China, Japan and Korea. The breeding process of this type takes place twice annually. This is possible through the slightly warmer climates and the resulting two life cycles in a year. The polyvoltine breeds of mulberry silkworm are reared in the tropics for 5 to 6 generations in a year. Bombyx mori undergoes complete metamorphosis and its life cycle consists of 4 distinct stages such as egg, larva, pupa and adult. Tropical races complete their life cycle with no dormancy phase whatsoever and ants pass through 5 to 6 generations in a year continuously. The temperate races undergo a dormancy period in the embryonic period of the egg to tide over the severe climatic conditions during winter. The silkworm eggs are tiny and each egg weighs about 0.5 milligrams. They measure about 1 to 1.3 mm in length, 0.9 to 1.2 mm in width. They are ovoid, flat, ellipsoid or oval and flat with a micropyle at the anterior pole. The newly hatched larva is about 3 mm long, black in color and is covered with bristles. Larval life may last from 20 to 24 days in the case of multivoltine races in tropical areas and 24 to 48 days in the case of uni and bivoltine races in temperate areas. The larva has 5 instars with 4 molds. At the end of the larval stage, the mature worm spins cocoons as a protective shell for the pupa. The pupal period may last from 8 to 14 days, after which the adult emerges. 
slitting through the people's skin and piercing the fibrous cocoon shell with the aid of alkaline salivary secretion that softens the tough cocoon shell. Wild silk moths are reared on wild trees but can also be raised and bred under complete human control. They complete their life cycle in four different metamorphosing phases such as egg, larva, pupa, adult or moths. Of these phases, only larval stage is the feeding stage. The range of food selection of these insects is wide. Their cocoons are bigger than those of the domesticated silkworm. Wild silk moths include tassar, eri, oak tassar, muga. Most of the research and development of technology is confined to China, India and Japan in Asia. The Indian tassar silkworm, Antheria mylita, n is equal to 31, is a natural fauna of tropical India, represented by more than 20 eco races. Large quantity of Indian and Chinese tassar cocoons is utilized to produce various types of textiles. Antheria perni, n is equal to 49, is originated in southern China, dating back to the Han and V dynasties. Antheria royli, that is n variable number of n that chromosomes that is 30 31 and 32 is distributed along the sub himalayan belt of india antheria proili n is equal to 49 is a successful interspecific hybrid of antheria roily with its chinese counterpart antheria perni the tassar of united states of america is antheria polyphemus muga silkworm antheria assamensis N is equal to 15 is a wild silk moth mentioned in literature as early as 1662 BC. It is widely distributed and cultured in northeastern India, particularly in Assam. The golden yellow muga silk is secreted by this semi domesticated multivoltan species, is larva feed on majankori leaves, that is, Litsia citrata, produces a kind of silkworm as majankori silk which is favored for durability luster creamy white shade japanese oak tassar silkworm antheria yamamai is a native of japan with a 31 chromosomes it is also unique because it contributes to the production of highly prized silk airy silkworm samia cynthia resini n is equal 13 is a multivoltine silkworm known for its white or brick red airy silk it is distributed in northeastern parts of India. Its other eco races are approximately 16 are distributed across Palearctic and Indo Australian biogeographic regions, namely Antheria mylita, Antheria assamensis, Samia cynthia ricini are economically important. Tropical tassar silkworm, Antheria mylita. The word tassar apparently derives from the Sanskrit word that is trasara meaning shuttle. A tassar silk is mentioned in literature dating back to 1590 BC. The Indian tassar silkworm Antheria mylita is a natural fauna of tropical India. Wide distribution and polyphagy of this insect species had resulted in extensive variation in the population. As I as 19 eco races have been reported in this species. This feed primarily on Terminalia species and Soria robusta and also on number of secondary food plants. The eco races are univoltine, bivoltine or trivoltine depending upon the geographical conditions and differ from each other in respect of qualitative and quantitative traits. Tassar cocoons are reported to be largest among all the silk producing insects in the world. Tassar silk fiber has its own distinctive color, coarse to feel but has high tensile strength, elongation and stress relaxation values than the mulberry silk fiber secreted by Bombyx mori. These properties have made tassar silk as competent and desirable as mulberry silk. The tassar larvae are stout and smooth and have rudimentary scoli. The egg is oval dorsoventrally symmetrical along the anterior posterior axis about 3 mm in length 2.5 mm in diameter it weighs approximately 10 milligrams at oval position it is dark brown owing to the gummy coating of meconium 
two brownish parallel lines along the equatorial plate of the egg divide the surface into three zones such as disc zone, streak zone and hedge zone. The larva is typically erosiform and has a hypognathous head with biting and chewing mouth parts. On hatching, it is dull brownish yellow with black head. The body normally turns green and head is brown after about 48 hours. But also yellow, blue and almond colored larvae are met with occasionally. Body coloration is retained throughout the larval period. The pupa is optic having a well defined segmented body. The dark brown pupa weighs about 10 grams. The ventral genital markings are on the 8th and 9th abdominal segments. The cocoon is single celled, pendant, bowel, closed and reliable having a hard non flossy shell with fine grains. At the anterior end there is a well formed dark brown peduncle with a ring at the distal end. The cocoons are generally yellow or grey. The females spin larger cocoons than the males. The moths exhibit distinct sexual dimorphism. The females are bigger with distended abdomen and narrow bipectinate antennae. The females are polymorphic in color being grey and yellow whereas the males are brown. Yellow and grey males and brown females are all are rare. There is an ever increasing demand for tussar silk owing to its strength, luster and copper brown color. The tussar silk production has stagnated and declined in the recent past though the demand is increasing. The important reasons for low production are attributed to traditional method of silkworm rearing on tall trees under natural conditions which exposes the larva to a number of predators, parasites and pathogens apart from natural vagaries. The wild Circesinus insects like tussar silkworms have in due course of time came to surround its economic utility. A number of species belong to the genus Antheria secrete this type of silk for constructing their cocoons. The tussar cocoons are large, thick and pedunculate. They are made of single unbroken filament and ends are reliable. The four important kinds of tussar silkworms are Indian tropical tussar. This silkworm commonly found in tropical India. Its scientific name is Antheria milita. It is a multivoltine worm having a number of generations in a year and can be reared throughout the year. It is a polyphagous species and feeds on number of food plants. Its principal host plants are Asan that is Terminalia tomentosa, Arjun that is Terminalia arjuna and Shoria robusta. The cocoons are grey white, tough and pedunculate. Temperate or oak tussar, also called Indian oak tussar silkworm, distributed in sub Himalayan hill regions of India, Nepal, Bhutan, Burma, China, etc. The silkworm producing this tussar silk is Antheria proili. It is a hybrid between Chinese Antheria perni and the Indian Antheria roili. It feeds on the leaves of the oak trees belonging to the genus Quercus. These trees are quite common in the Himalayan borders. The cocoons of this worm are grey white in color. Chinese tussar, though called Chinese tussar, it occurs also in former I mean USSR countries, it belongs to the species Antheria perni. It is the largest of the silkworm of the world. It feeds on oak species of the genus Quercus and on a few other trees. Its cocoons are grey brown in color and the silk reeled from it is used for making embroidery threads and also for weaving fabrics. Japanese tussar. This occurs mainly in Japan. It feeds on oak. It belongs to the species Antheria yamamai. The silk is greenish tinted and used for fabrics and embroidery work. Muga silkworm, Antheria assamensis. Muga silkworm is one of the economically important wild silk producing insects whose genome is among the least understood and is unique among saturnid moths. Native of Assam and named after Assamese word Muga which indicates amber or brownish color of the cocoon. 
It belongs to the family Saturnidae. It is popular for its golden color, glossy texture and durability. Anthere assamensis n is equal to 15 is an endemic species prevalent in the Brahmaputra valley and adjoining hills. It is a polypagus insect which feeds on leaves of soam, sohalu and other plants. By virtue of the narrow ecological distribution of host food plants, Hantheria assamensis is confined to only Assam state of India. Empirical observations show that the population is declining due to depletion in genetic variability. Heterogeneity and sexual dimorphism with regard to color pattern are less pronounced in Anthera assamensis than Anthera milita because of its limited geographical distribution. The hex of this species are streakless and brownish. The follicular imprints consist of single pattern with oval main cells. The newly hatched larva is characterized by prominent black intersegmental markings over the yellowish body with brown head. After the first molt, the body turns green while the head remains brownish. Yellow color on body of the larva can also be seen. The pupa is copper brownish, weighs about 6 grams. The cocoon is single celled, light brown, oblong, closed, relevel and slightly flossy with a weak peduncle. The cocoon is golden brown or glossy white. The approximate body length of male moth is 3 cm and of the females is 3.5 cm. Eri silkworm, Samia Cynthia Rissini, the name Eri derives from the Assamese word Era, which means castor oil plant, the main food plant of this silkworm. Samia Cynthia Rissini, a multivoltan silkworm commonly called as Eri silkworm, is known for its white or brick red Eri silk. It is distributed in northeastern parts of India, China, and Japan. Its other eco races are distributed across the Palearctic and Indo Australian biogeographic regions. The primary food plant of this polyphagous insect is castor, that is, Ricinus communis. But it also feeds on a wide range of food plants such as Eterophanax fragnans, Maniat utilissima, Evodia flaxinifolia, Hylanthus grandilosa, etc. The wild Samia Cynthia ricini silkworm completes one to three generations per year depending on geographical position and climatic conditions of the regions. However, up to six generations occur in the domesticated cultures. Populations of Samia Cynthia ricini that have been commercially exploited and are present in different regions of the Northeast India show wide morphological and quantitative variations in characters such as larval weight, cocoon weight, cocoon shell weight, and silk contents. Hairy silkworms were successfully acclimatized in America and Europe but could not take firm hold. Hairy silkworms share basic characteristics of Saturnidae but because of its domestic generic origin, it has as well many characteristics which distinguish it from the species of Antheria. The hex are ovoid, candid white, and the larva on hatching is greenish yellow. The body color changes gradually to pure yellow by the end of the third day. From third instar onwards, the body color segregates into yellow, cream, greenish, blue or white. The fully mature larva is translucent and covered with white powdery substance. Both spotted and unspotted larva are found. The spots are of various adequates. Pupa does not depart from the basic Saturnidae pattern. It weighs about 2.6 grams. The cocoon can be easily distinguished from those of Antheria as they are elongated, soft woolly, pedunculus, open mouthed and unreliable. They exhibit color polymorphism being brick red and creamy whitish. The length of the male moth is about 2.3 cm, female is 3 cm. The average wing expanse of male and female moths is 13 cm and 15 cm respectively. Anape silkworm. This silkworm belongs to the genus Anape of family Notodontidae of the order Lepidoptera. Many species, particularly Anape veneta, 
produce the anafe silk they are widely distributed in tropical region of southern and central africa the anafe silkworms are polyphagous and as many as 22 plants have been reported as their host plants but the most important one is triplochiton sclerozylon the production of the silk is reached a peak period during world war ii when it was used in the manufacture of parachutes this silkworm is univoltine. The moths are moderate size, about 2.2 cm in length, and show sexual dimorphism. Eggs are laid in clusters on the ventral part of the leaves. Larvae are polypodes, have seven instars, form collective cocoons, that is, they spin in communes. The fluffy material of cocoon is spun to produce the silk. The silk is more elastic and stronger than the mulberry silk. It is used in velvet and flesh making. The species of Anafe silkworm are Anafe infracta, Anafe panda, Anafe reticulata, Anafe ambrigia, Anafe veneta, Anafe carteri and Anafe molonegi. Distribution of Anafe silkworms in tropical regions of continental Africa, Nigeria, Uganda, Zambia, Cameroon, Congo, etc. The host plants include Triplochiton sclero region, Triplochiton sclero xylon, Casuarina equisitifolia, Albizia gomerata, and Tamarindus indica, Gigipus species. Life cycle of the silkworm on Anape veneta. Egg. Eggs are soft, white, at margin, at center turns grey, after some time it turns to disc shape. Larva are univoltine, gregarious while hatching, young larvae is greenish covered with dark brown setae and the abdominal segments of the larva bears the tubercles. Pupa is optect, dark brownish, undergoes dipause for 200 to 207 days. Huddles are medium to large moths. Whitish body is coated with scales. Forewing is broad, hindwing is smaller. Abdominal segments are marked with rings of golden brown hairs. Gonometa silkworm. Various species of gonometa are widely distributed throughout the African savanna. Moths of these insects are called agar moths. The larvae are polyphagous, but maximum cocoons are found on the trees of acacia species particularly Acacia tortillis, which is most widely distributed in Botswana in Africa. The cocoons are elongated, ellipsoidal in shape, each of them weighing about 3.5 grams. The cocoons are simple, their shell is odd and each shell weighs about 0.85 to 0.9 gram, giving a shell ratio of 22%. The cocoon is unreliable and the silk is obtained by spinning. The sericin content of the cocoons of this silkworm is I that is about 45 to 55 percent compared to mulberry silkworm that is 25 to 30 percent and tassar silkworm that is 18 to 25 percent. The degummed cocoons are spun to produce lustrous silk. Fagara silk. 13 species of attackers are known to produce this silk. Among them the giant silk moth attackers atlas is commercially important. The species which produce Fagara silk are Atacus atlas, Atacus edwardi. They are distributed in China, Sudan, India, Bangladesh and Vietnam. The food plants include Ailanthus and Puruna species. Description Adults are giant moths of wide wing, brown colored moths with white bands on the first two abdominal segments. The larva spin light brown cocoons with peduncle of 2 to 10 centimeters. Cone silkworm. This silkworm, also called the Syrian silkworm, belongs to the genus Pachypasa. It was the silkworm extensively cultivated in Europe until the introduction of the Chinese silkworm Bombyx mori. It also occurs naturally in Mauritiana and Morocco. The species used commercially are Pachypasa watus and Pachypasa lineosa. The cocoons are white in color and measure about 8.9 by 7.6 centimeters. The yield of silk from each cocoon is very little. 
the cone silk was used to make crimson dyed apparel worn by the dignitaries of rome the species are cricula trifenstrata and cricula enduri they are distributed in eastern parts of india sikkim regions of himalaya and also in bangladesh they generally found during august to december the host plants includes mangifera indica mechilus vambicina hankaridium accidental eugenia fruitiosa eugenia jambulina then coming to the lunar moth actia luna wingspan of 4.5 to 5 inches it is a very common in many countries of the eastern states from maine to florida and generally becomes less plentiful as one moves westwards towards texas and the great plains lunas are found in many canadian provinces such as nova scotia prince edward island new brunswick and in southern portions of quebec ontario manitoba and saskatchewan food plants in canada and in the northern border states within its range the lunar caterpillar show a preference for white or paper birch that is betula paperifera in new jersey and states of that general latitude caterpillars consume ecori walnut and sweet gum in the more southern latitudes larvae favor persimmon japanese moon moth actias harterias distributed in japan korea and they are single brood species spin small dull white cocoons american moon moth Hactias luna it is distributed in northeastern america make a small cocoons that are fragile in nature indian moon moth actia selena asiatic distribution forms tough gray cocoons asian moon moth actias mena distributed in andaman to java produces small dull white cocoons mexican moon moth actias trunctive pennis distributed in and around mexico australian silk moth antheria belena antheria eucalypti both feed on eucalyptus leaves and made small gray colored cocoons falibemus moth antheria falibemus distributed in southern part of northern america and southern america atlas moth attacus atlas both the Polyphemus and atlas produces cocoons spun on leaves with peduncle and brownish color non insect fauna producing silk a muzzle silk mitilus edulis that is produced by pinna squamosa this is a silk of non insect origin distributed in shallow waters shores of italy and toronto it is marine organism lives in association with mollusca anchor to a rock or other surface to spun silk and bissels it is known as fish wool their fabric is famous in italy because of the hydrogel properties of silk it is suited for babies agis spider silk it is produced by nephila madagascarensis belong to the phylum arthropoda and class arachnida possessing four pairs of jointed legs spiders are distributed in all habitats in nature and different types are encountered in different types of ecosystem different types of species found in nature are trapdoor spiders purse web spiders tarantula spiders pinopid stick spiders boa spiders green link spiders jumping spiders and orange spiders silk of the majority of the spiders are not of commercial use however silk from five species of spiders are commercially exploited and they are the world weaver Harenias diademetas, the Madagascar spider, Nephila madagascarensis, 
Miranda Horentia and Epira spices, oral web spy bar that is Nuctinia cornuata. Properties of spider silk, the silk is highly durable, resistant to high temperature and relative humidity and used for manufacturing of opt optical cross wires. It has some fungicidal and bacterial properties and used for dressing wounds. It is strong at greater extension up to 25 percent. It must not break and soft at small extensions. It has a greater energy absorption to spring back rapidly. It has good elasticity, luster, shrinkage is negligible and it is strongest silk. Commercial exploitation of spider silk. Spider silk is a soft, fine, strong and elastic. It is used in engineering laboratory and optical devices. It is also used in telescopes and such other related to engineering equipments. From the topic Circigenous fauna, it can be inferred that though there are enormous number of organisms both of insect and non-insect origin involved in silk production, but only a few of them can be successfully cultured or reared either completely or partially and thus study provides necessary information for their exploitation in large scale for production of silk. Thank you.